Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Today I'm making a keto, low carb version of a caramel sauce. So what you're going to need for this is some xanthan gum. Now we're only using a little bit of this. I got this in Walmart, so you could get it in almost any place. You get a lot of this. It's not the cheapest ingredient, but the best price I did find was in Walmart. The reason we need this is it's a binding agent. I don't know of any other replacement that you can use. Just go out and get some. If you can't find it in a store, if there's no Walmart near you, you could buy it on Amazon. Just using a pinch of salt. For the sweetener, this is sugar-free, mostly sugar-free. I'm using erythritol. Now, I was able to get my erythritol in Costco for a really good price. If you don't have a Costco near you, you can buy this under the brand Swerve. Swerve is available in Target and Walmart and a lot of grocery stores. But what I did was I took my Swerve or my erythritol and I put it in my Vitamix to make it a confectioner's consistency. If you happen to have a, a store near you that sells Swerve, they already sell it as a confectioner's sugar. But if you can't find it, just use the regular granulated erythritol, put it in your blender or your food processor, and blend it down till it is powder-like. You're gonna need it powder-like, that's why. Very little bit of molasses. I use my Earth Balance buttery sticks or my Smart Balance and I'm, instead of butter, but you can use unsalted butter. And I'm using some heavy cream with that and then some vanilla extract. The ingredients with the measurements are at my website which is linked below in the description box. So I have here a medium saucepan and I have my erythritol in it and I'm going to add in my molasses. I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to let this cook on a medium heat until this dissolves. Now, this is going to take about five to six minutes, and you want to keep stirring this until it completely dissolves. And this is a recipe that you can't use any other sugar substitute. You, this will not work if you use stevia. Might work if you use Splenda, but that's not really one of the healthiest choices of a sugar substitute. Best to use it with erythritol. So you see how liquidy this got from a dry state down. We just melted this all down. I'm just continuing to stir it so it doesn't burn and so that the sweetener, the erythritol, does blend in nicely. Now I'm going to add in the butter, or in my case the butter substitute. Add in some vanilla extract. Remove it from the heat, and then I'm going to continue to stir this. Okay, so from here, I'm going to whisk in that heavy cream. Add in a pinch of salt, and then the xanthan powder. And then continue to whisk this until it is completely blended in. I am continuing to whisk this for a good five minutes. I want to make sure all that xanthan gum is blended in. You'll see pieces of it. So just keep whisking it. And then we'll set this aside for it to cool. And you'll notice that as it cools, it will thicken. 